Hello friends, in this video we are going to study that how the microprocessor are classified on various bases. So let's start with our topic. Microprocessors, they are classified into various categories on the three bases. The first base is the size of the data bus and the second classification is on the basis of the applications of the microprocessor and the third classification is on the basis of the architecture of the microprocessor. What type of architecture has been used in the manufacturing of the microprocessor? So let's study the various classifications. First is the based on size of data bus. Or we can say that it is based on their specification. Because at the time of manufacturing of a microprocessor, the manufacturer defines the various specifications of the microprocessor. How much data bus it is using, how much address bus it is using, how much frequency it has to be applied or what voltage supply it is working. So all these specifications, they are provided by the manufacturer to the user now one of these specification is the size of the data bus this size is very important because it determines that how much how much data or uh, the data it is the microprocessor it is getting as an input okay like uh, we know that the microprocessor it has the binary input the data which is given to the microprocessor it is in the form of binary numbers 0 and 1 so the size of the data bus defines the microprocessor that how much type uh, how much data it can handle so on the basis of this the microprocessors are classified as 4 bit microprocessor 8 bit microprocessor 16 bit microprocessor or 32 bit microprocessor similarly the on the basis of the size of the data bus the microprocessors are classified now this 4 bit microprocessor it is using it is having 4 bit data bus it means it has 4 lines for handling the data or it is having a combination of four bits like 0, 1, 1, 0. The combination of four bits it is going to get as an input. In 8-bit microprocessor, it will have 8-bit data bus. Eight lines are there. Similarly, 16-bit microprocessor will have 16-bit data bus, 32-bit will have 32-bit data bus. So on the basis of the size of the data bus, the microprocessors are classified into various categories. The next type of classification of microprocessor, it is based on the application of the microprocessor. Now based on classification, the microprocessors are classified as general purpose microcontroller or special purpose microprocessors. So based on application, the microprocessors are classified into three categories. First is general purpose, second is microcontroller and third is special purpose microprocessor. Now general purpose microprocessor, they are used in general computer systems like 8085, Intel, Pentium. These are the microprocessor which are used in the general purpose applications like uh, the day-to-day -day life what we are using the 
daily applications which we have so the microprocessor used in the common applications they are the general purpose microprocessors So these general purpose microprocessor, they can be used for any type of application like in uh, mobiles, in washing machines, in printers, the microprocessors, they can be used. Examples of general purpose are 8085, Intel, Pentium. These are the general purpose microprocessors. Now, next we have microcontroller. In microprocessor, you have seen that the memory, it is outside it. Now, if the memory, it is included in the microprocessor, then it becomes the microcontroller. So we can see that microcontroller is what it is a microprocessor with built in memory and input output ports and it can be programmed for any generic control application that is a specific control application it can be used example of microcontroller is 8051 this IC can be used as a microcontroller and next third type of microprocessors we have our special purpose microprocessors. The special purpose microprocessor, they are used in specific applications like in radars, satellites, flights. In those applications, the, these type of microprocessors are used. Example of special purpose microprocessor are digital signal processors. So this was the classification on the basis of application of the microprocessor. Third classification was on the basis of the uh, architecture which is used to design the microprocessor and on the basis of that the microprocessor are classified into two categories first is reduced instruction set computer processor It is also called RISC RISC and second type is com complex instruction set computer processor also called CISC CISC. So these are the two types RISC and CISC. On the basis of the name you can understand that reduced instruction set means it has simple instructions involved in it and the complex instruction set will have complex instructions which are difficult to understand by the user. So these are the two types of microprocessor based on the architecture. So in this video we have studied about the classification of the microprocessor. There are three categories on the basis of which the microprocessors are classified. First was based on the size of the data bus. Second was based on the 
application of the microprocessor and third is based on the architecture used in the microprocessor. So I hope this topic is clear to you. Thank you.